toe, toe, at the back foot, okay? That's, that is a massive alligator footprint right there. He's, he's back in there somewhere. So up in this tree here, this is the cutest little baby owl. The baby barred owl. Hi, little fuzzy guy. So he still has that juvenile fuzz up around his head. He's super cute. A little butterfly flying around him. So it's the dry season right now and it's really dry. Where I'm standing right now in a couple of months, the water's gonna be at least this deep. So this is the last refuge for one of these alligators. So I just saw him, he's, he's down in that mud right now, but right when we came up, I could see him. There's a couple of bubbles right there, so he just went down in there. And so as this area dried down, this is the last bit of water. And then this alligator has been, oh, you see the movement? See the water ebbing and flowing? So that gator's turning around in there right now. And uh, so as the water dries down, that's the last little bit of water. And this gator's been digging it out, making a gator hole. And these gator holes are sometimes the last bit of water that is left in an area that any animal can utilize. And so other animals will come and even it doesn't look like much. But if you're, you know, if you're dehydrating, you're dying because you don't have any water. That's the last thing that some animals get to have to drink. And of course, you know, the gator can take his taxes for uh, the rest of the animals utilizing his area. So you can actually see this little baby gator right there. So chances are there's multiple alligators inside this little, I mean, it doesn't look like much more than a puddle, but I've seen huge gators fit up into little areas like this. There's a little babies hanging out in there right now. I got my flashlight on them so you can actually see, but yeah, it's pretty darn cool. And I mean, when I first walked up, the movement I saw definitely indicated a larger animal. So I'm sure there's probably like a seven or eight footer in there with this little guy. So this whole area would normally be underwater. And now you can just walk right through it. It's pretty crazy. All these fallen trees are usually submerged. Now check out this gator footprint. Right, here's the back. Toe, toe, toe at the back foot, okay? That's, that is a massive alligator footprint right there. That gator's like, like minimum 10, 11 feet. They went walking out this way somewhere. It's dry season, so they're up and they're moving. He's out walking around somewhere out here. Trying to find new water. We just came up on this beautiful area and there's baby gators right over there that just scampered in. But first, check this out. This last little bit of water, some big bear tracks. Drinking from this last little bit. There's some raccoon tracks too. There's the gator drag right there going over to where those babies are. This is such a cool spot. The water's real low like this. Everybody's coming over here to drink. It's so cool with the bears. There's uh, gator tracks right there too. You can hear some hawks going off in the background. Man, 
I would say that that bear was just here. Like those are pretty fresh. There's a perfect gator hole going up underneath. This is where the babies just went. So, wow. So there's a, one of the babies was right there, up on this branch. And so they're living all the way up in there. And I'm assuming the mother's in there with them and dug this out for them. And uh, this is how they're gonna survive the dry season up underneath this cypress. It's so cool. Really, really amazing. I mean, you, you could just be out here hiking, have no idea you're walking right past an uh, alligator den. And it doesn't look like much. I mean, when you're looking at that walking by, you'd have no idea that's even there. And it's a gator den. All right, I just got my flashlight out. And look at him in there. You can see him hiding out. There's at least four of them. Look how cute they are. I bet you the mom's in there with them. I mean, again, it doesn't look like much, but you'd be surprised. You can get an adult alligator that'll fit in a little puddle like this and curl up and they dig in there deeper, so no telling how deep it goes with the mud. It's so cool, though. So, we just came up on a bear. It's right back over there. And uh, we haven't seen it yet, but we're walking along and just heard it, like, make some vocalizations. So, we're trying to see if we can get a view of it without, obviously, disturbing it or making it charge us, you know? So, trying to trying to look around back there. He's, he's, he's back in there somewhere. I think there's more than one. Sounds like there's two. Somewhere in here is that bear. It's like right there in front of us, but we can't see it. It's so thick in here. It's like impossible to see anything but it's really close. So in theme with our uh, tracking episode, this seems to be, there's some gator poop. That's old. And then some more there, more there, more, a lot of it. So you can see this area recently dried up, so I bet a gator was hanging out here for quite a while. That's all poop right there too. So he must have this little spot staked out until the water finally dried up and then he got got hiking out there. And yes, they do hike, if you will. I mean, I've been on hikes where I am miles away from water and found a 10 foot gator just walking through the bush. So it does happen. And I mean, this is an area, that, I mean, this is usually flooded, you know, in this kind of a habitat. This is usually a swamp most of the year, but I've seen gators trucking right through like like upland habitat. It's pretty cool, pretty wild. So up ahead, we just found this last gator hole and there's a very large alligator in there. And then there's a lot of babies you can see. It's really hard to see right now, but um, the babies already see us and they're creeping in. But it does go to show this is a very large male alligator in there with a bunch of babies and he's not eating them all. Oh, no, he's moving a little bit. He's huge. Whoa. So that adult just took off. Huge explosion. There's two adults. And then all the fish are going nuts. And then there's gotta be like, it's gonna be at least like 20 or 30 baby gators in here. But the adult just took off and made a huge explosion of water. What a cool spot. It's gotta be their last bit of water for, I, I don't even know how far out here. You see some of the babies popping up right there.
All right, so we got a little distracted with the bear, which means we went off trail. And that means we got lost. Nice and thick. Okay, lots of fun.